this is insane. I changed the settings on my eBay store. So now I do one day handling and free returns. And I've gotten like three orders since then. I already packed a brass parrot. I'll put a picture right here. I didn't show you guys because I was like, oh, I'm not going to even take the camera. I'm just going to pack it. And then I got another order and then another order. But that other one was canceled. It was a Surge Energy Drink hat. Said they canceled because of the address. So maybe they'll reorder it. But I'm just going to keep rolling with it, guys. But um, with the way that this is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys everything that's sold. But like I said, I have an idea for some of the really good items to show you guys the things that have sold but you guys won't see that until later it's monday morning here's everything that we've got packed to go out i already listed this yesterday it sold for 40 plus ship and i can't remember on the other two but i'll pop them up on the screen right here i don't know what it is guys but something about the one day handling time and the 30 or free 30 day returns ebay likes me now <laughs> a lot like even more so that i sold all of this in the past few hours sorry i don't feel like being on camera but i thought i'd show you everything so we got a fenton vase a surge bucket hat with cat hair on it i'm just gonna lint roll that hat before we send it out a lid we have a very special order here from laura she is a viewer thank you so much laura for your order that is awesome i will be sending you an inked picker sticker as a thank you we sold this five dollar bill guys for thirty dollars it is a 1963 a star note i've been holding on to this forever and um i actually threw a i think it was a ten dollar bill on the dollar auction and it was from like the 90s i think it was 1990 and i got made fun of so i'm like screw it the rest of my bills i'm gonna throw on ebay and this one paid off because there's no way i was getting 30 bucks for that on the dollar auction and we also sold this big mouth billy bones even though i love him i love this how it's a skeleton but we gotta let it go guys Anyways, here's everything that has sold. I'm going to get that packed up. Just trying to keep up on the orders, guys, because I'm a little nervous about this one-day handling, but I think we can do it. It's pushing me a little bit out of my comfort zone. It's Monday night. Here are the rest of the things that have sold. I'm going to get on top of shipping and pack these up tonight to ship out tomorrow. Hey, guys. I am at an auction right now. I won this whole plot of California raisins for five bucks. And I also won this really cool carved wood owl. And inside is also carved wood teeth, which I'm gonna probably keep. Here are the teeth. Aren't those cool? And they're all signed. There's the signature right there. And this one, the signature is right there, I believe. But I need to research this a little more. This might be a signature too. It's Wednesday night. We just got home from the auction. Here's everything we have going out for tomorrow. These strawberry shortcake stickers, these shoes, and we have a Mercari order. This is a Leaning Tower of Pisa little carved statue thing. That's all we've got going out for tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Thursday. There are no estate sales today, which is weird, and not really any garage sales, so I'm staying home and packing up stuff and doing some other things. We sold these Skechers, new in the box 25 plus shipping and then these are called demonias guys if you don't know this brand keep an eye out especially if you have a lot of gothic communities around you these are the kind of shoes that i wear and they are worth good money guys i sold these for 75 plus shipping i'm trying to show you the tag on the inside just so you can know but a lot of times they're on the inside of the zipper here so you can see this one is called oh my gosh gothica right here if it will focus there we go it usually sometimes will say demonia on the inside here but i don't think this one does it just depends sometimes it'll also say it on the bottom but these don't but the only way i knew how these were was i looked up that and it was gothica 20 or gothica <laughs> by demonia and um yeah certain ones of their shoes sell really well and especially like the big boots which i do have some of those that i'm waiting to sell but if you ever find some of those they can be worth some good money Hey guys, it's Thursday night, packing up some orders. We got some great sales, like this lava lamp, as well as this Scooby-Doo blanket, and a bunch of other random stuff. Shoes, we got a camera, a keyboard, a car manual, these really cool horoscope glasses. I believe they are Libby. Very cool. And uh, yeah, that's it for tonight, guys. 
Good morning guys, it is Friday. I'm out hitting some sales. Just went to one and picked up a whole bag of stuff. The sale, everything was like a quarter, 50 cents. I picked up a jacket, but that happened to be $150, but there's no price tag on it. So anyways, I didn't get that, but we loaded up at that sale. And now I'm going to try to find any other sales. I'm gonna only be out for a little bit this morning. There's not a ton of sales today. And there's like no estate sales this weekend, which is crazy, but it's kind of good because it kind of gave me a little bit of a break yesterday. So I feel a little bit more refreshed, but I will keep you guys updated. Hey guys, it's Saturday, so I'm sitting here um, listing, and this was in an auction lot that I bought. It's a ginger jar, for those of you that don't know, and I didn't realize um, that there was something inside when I bought it. Well, it was in like a pallet, like a flat of glassware that I won at the end of the auction, and there are ashes in there, um, whether they're human or pet remains, I'm not sure. Of course, I'm not going to sell this. What I am going to do, I did see a lady do this before. She had found some pet remains in a box at Goodwill and she ended up buying it and doing like a proper like ceremony for it. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. I do need to wait for the weather to warm up, but once it does, I will be doing that for these remains for whoever they belong to. Hey guys, wow, it's been a minute since I've been on camera. Uh, really busy and like I said I did top rated seller or top rated seller plus anyways we did that so now my shipping is really wonky because I have to ship every single day it basically forces me to do that and um, so I've just been doing little clips of everything that I ship out that day anyways today I thought I'd do it normally since it's Sunday it's Easter Sunday so happy Easter guys and um, we're gonna get that stuff packed up. So I'm gonna show you what's sold. First we sold some Loctite for 11 plus shipping. I had a bunch of these lotted together for like $140 or something like that. And they didn't end up selling. Like I couldn't get them to sell. So I decided to start just selling them individually. 15 plus ship for the stone chessboard. Eight plus ship. This is a Google cord 12 plus ship we had an insane buy with this stuff i got a bunch of tech for like 15 bucks it's about five dollars a box found a bunch of stuff including some raspberry pies which i let my husband keep but there was a bunch of random cool things and they're like random tinker type things where like if you like to mess with electronics and tech and stuff like that there was a lot of this kind of stuff in there and we've made a decent profit just even on stuff that we've kept and didn't sell. 13 plus ship. This is some type of converter for these Sizzix little, um, they're like dies to cut with. 15 plus ship. We sold a set of four of these for 25 plus ship. These sold for 45 plus shipping, not sure why, but the comps were up pretty high for those. Sold this Fiesta Wear 21.75 plus shipping. I listed this last night and it sold within 30 seconds. This little pin right here, it is a American Registry Radiolic Technologies Technologist pin and it is 10 karat. I got it in the auction lot from the auction I just went to last week and you can see right there it says 10k. 9 plus shipping for this little Avon ring. 40 plus ship for this little pewter smurf. Did a purse and shoe buy. I had bought a bunch of shoes from this lady at a garage sale a couple weeks ago. She actually took my number and called me yesterday and had told me she was doing a garage sale and so I went over there and picked up a bunch of stuff. Paid like $240 but this was in there. This beautiful Dunienberg. As you can tell it is not the traditional Dunienberg colors but we sold this in less than 24 hours for $100 plus shipping. 60 plus ship, this little Wedgwood necklace finally sold. $18.75 plus shipping on this really cool old salt shaker. $35 plus shipping. And lastly, $4 plus shipping. So I wanted to bring you guys over here because I posted a video a few days ago and people are going insane in the comments, guys. <laughs> like, <sighs> Anyways, um, as of right now, that is my most viewed video ever, and I gained quite a bit of subscribers from it. It currently is sitting at 23,000 views, which is insane. I should get monetized off of this, 
um, because I was looking for some more watch hours and I think this should hit me over that threshold they want me to be at. But my second most popular video is 8.9K and then my next one is 3K. So this one really excelled. But yeah, lots of uh, interesting comments, some positive, some negative. I haven't deleted any comments because no one's really said anything that's like super, um, I was gonna say rude, but there is some rude comments. I haven't deleted any. It's just interesting to see what people have to say. Um, a lot of people don't like estate sales, I guess. They think that it's like, again, this comparison, someone said vultures again in the comments today. It's like vultures, it's like flies on crap. I'm like, you think it's like that here? You should see the Goodwill bins <laughs> because that's what it's like. Anyways, so yeah, we have all that. I've been working on cleaning out my office. I did a huge bottle buy. Um, what was that, on Thursday or Friday? And I'm going through a bunch of bottles. We will make some decent money on that one. I've already listed, we're gonna be way in the profit. It's just getting through all these bottles is a task on its own. And I'm also putting a sale on my store, which I already did last night. So some stuff is already starting to sell just because I don't have room. And I know I've said that a million times, but I'm like nearly out of room, which really is unfortunate. I would love to just source, 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 but I need to start limiting myself just a little bit and been going a little too overboard I've been able to kind of keep up with listing I do have a decent pile of stuff right now that needs listed in here and some stuff in the garage since this whole thing with the antique booth didn't work out oh update on the antique booth unfortunately I haven't sold anything yet it hasn't even been a week tomorrow will be a week they are most likely closed today because of Easter but I've been checking out the website over and over because I'm super excited to see when and if I finally sell something. But luckily, when I signed up for the booth, he gave me the rest of March for free. So it doesn't really start until April. So technically, I'm not paying until tomorrow. So we'll see. But I know something will sell eventually, but I don't know, maybe right now is just kind of a slow time. I was hoping to have some sales by now. I keep getting dreams that I've sold stuff because it's in the back of my mind. But anyways, guys. I think that is all for now, so I will see you guys later.